another preparing for baby vlog. We, <laughs> we're still here. It's another day in 2023 paradise, everybody. <laughs> so today, well, first of all, oh, here's my brow thing I was looking for. The Flemmy the Flamingo situation is on another level this year. My allergies have been killing me. I'm Flemmy the Flamingoing at, at a level that I've, I've never Flemmied before. <laughs> <laughs> but we're here, we've got things to do today, and I figured I'd put on a face because um, I don't know what it is. It just does something to me. I feel a little bit less uh, zombie-like when I have a little bit of a face on. So we're gonna try, it's all I got right now because I'm not drinking coffee, so it's all I got. I mean, I have been drinking some decaf a little bit here and there, <laughs> uh, just as a little treat and hoping for the placebo effect, but it works sometimes and doesn't work other times so here we are anyway so we got some things to do today what are we doing today first and foremost i gotta go to the vet means is getting another uti everybody we're gonna get some tests done and see what we can do for her because poor gal just cannot catch a break with these utis and then i was gonna go today to get some supplies for my hospital bag, which I need to pack. That will be a separate video where we actually pack the bag. I have most of the stuff, but I need to pick out some snacks that hopefully I won't eat before <laughs> going to labor. <laughs> but um, <laughs> just some little things. The hospital is going to have a lot of it. But they did say because of my celiac, that they don't, you know, they may not have a lot of options depending on the day, you know. And so to bring snacks or just have a plan. So we're going to go pick out some snacks and supplies. And, and then later, my mom is coming over and she is going to help me take off tags and sort all the laundry and sort everything by size and get everything all ready to be washed and prepared for the baby gremlin's arrival. Maybe a winged eyeliner look on an allergy day wasn't the best choice, but that's to be determined. Get it together. I don't even know what I'm wearing today because nothing fits me, but. <laughs> but other than that, I've been feeling pretty good. I mean, other than not sleeping and being in excruciating pain <laughs> and having really bad allergies. But you know what? We're going to stay positive. <laughs> I've had allergies my entire life and every single year without fail, they take me by surprise. Like every time I'm like, what is this? I'm like, cool. You've had this every year. What do you mean? What is this? Does anyone else feel like that? If you have allergies, are we wearing lipstick today? What are we doing? But do I want to have a snack before? So we're back. I'm dressed in the one of like three outfits that fit me right now. It's a super comfy. Reminds me of October because it's got all the fall colors. Uh, but it's this tie dye dress that I actually had before I was pregnant. And it's just one of the few things that still fits me. So this is where we're at with the bump. This is what nine months pregnant looks like on your ghoul. <laughs> and I love everything that I'm using, all the makeup I'm using, or anything I can find that's similar. I'll have it down in the products and current video area that's just below the description box. I'll have all this stuff. Or any stones are similar. Whatever I can find. We're going for fall vibes today. <laughs> so we can pretend summer isn't actually happening basically. So dramatic for just a daytime errand look, but <laughs> we are who we are. All right, people. Anyways, we're looking for, what are we looking for? Deodorant. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, which I have right here. I'm going to put on some deodorant. I'm using my Native deodorant. This video, by the way, is sponsored by Native. If you've been around here for a while, you've heard me jab my jaws about Native products. Their deodorants, their body washes, their sunscreen, their toothpaste. I'm a huge Native nerd and have no shame in it. And if you haven't heard of Native before, Native is a personal care brand that sells anything, like I mentioned, from deodorants, body washes, shampoo and conditioners, toothpaste, sunscreen, uh, the list goes on and on. And I use the Native deodorants every single day. I'm obsessed with these deodorants. If you haven't tried them before, they are aluminum free, paraben free, cruelty free, and vegan. And the Native deodorants come in their classic plastic packaging as well as their plastic free packaging, which is the same formula as their regular plastic packaging deodorant, just in more sustainable packaging. So now I'm just trying to figure out which scent I want to use today and I'm obsessed 
I cannot stop jabbing my jaws about the native scents. That's the first thing that caught my eye with native was their scent selection. They have so many scents to choose from. They have a huge selection of classic scents that smell amazing, but they also have limited edition scents, which have gotten your ghoul. And right now they have the candy shop collection, which has all of these candy shop inspired scents that smell amazing, including my favorite one, which is the gummy bear scent. And the deodorants I got this time, I tried this lilac and white tea scent, which smells so good. It's like spring in a deodorant. And also this eucalyptus and mint, which is so refreshing, such a good scent. And then the last one I tried is my favorite for summer, which is the coconut and vanilla. Smells like a tropical vacation, it is so good. So anyways, let me put on my deodorant. I'm using the plastic free today, where you just push up the little, like, like a little push pop. Um, and you can apply your deodorant. And I, of course, have a deal for y'all. If you're looking for a steal of a deal on some native products, if you click my link down in the description box and use my code Libra11, you can get 20% off your first purchase with native. And this offer is available site-wide. So anything you're wanting to try from native, but it's only for a limited time. So definitely stock up and save. Uh, but yeah, I love my native products. I just use their toothpaste. I used their body wash when I took a shower earlier and I'm using their deodorant. Anyways, so we're, we got our deodorant on. Oh wait, I was gonna put on some jewelry. We're getting fancy today, everybody. It is means I know she's crying. Dallas is working out. So she needs, she wants somebody to hold her, which we will here in a second means. We're looking extra fancy today. <laughs> for some random shopping we're doing. Like we're literally not going anywhere fancy. Uh oh, just drop that. But I don't get out much y'all. I have not been leaving my house much just for doctor's appointments mainly. And then we've been doing a lot at home. We've had a lot to get done. Like I mentioned, lots of yard work um, and then getting the nursery together and all of that. So we really haven't left the house too much. I did go see that new Evil Dead by the way, which I mentioned I was gonna go see when, uh, if you watch my spooky bedroom decorating, um, I don't want to wear earrings, I don't think. I mean, I thought about it, but I think we'll just go with this today. Anyways, we did go see that new Evil Dead. It was really good. We really enjoyed it. This one wasn't quite as scary, but I enjoyed the gore and the storyline and all that kind of stuff. I did enjoy it. So it wasn't, it just didn't really scare me, but that's okay. It's still, I still like scary movies that don't scare me. Um, especially if they have good gore, like good things. Like there, there was some good gore in there. Right, so I'm gonna put my shoes on and then we're gonna head out the door. Oh, we should have grabbed good old Mr. Skeleton, but he'll have his time. He'll have his moments. All right, here we go. We're cruising now to the vet and <laughs> finally we're off. Uh, Neen's peed all over the bed. Just wanna put that out there completely peed all over the bed. Hold on, railroad tracks, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I just taken her to go to the bathroom. I know she has a UTI, so she lets out little tinkles here and there. But I mean, this was all over our bed and it stinks right now, like really, really bad. Anyway, so we're running this urine sample up to the vet <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get her medications as quickly as possible. And I'm just gonna run to one place. I think I'm just gonna go to Walmart really quick. I, I always say really quickly, even though it's gonna be the middle of the day at Walmart, which is my least favorite. I like to go early in the morning or later at night when no one's there, but we're just gonna do what we gotta do. So I was gonna look for a robe to possibly wear in the hospital. I have a robe at home, but it's like one of those really fleecy, fuzzy ones. And I've heard that after you have a baby, you're just sweating profusely all the time. So I want something a little bit lighter weight. I, I, I'm just gonna go take a little gander at Walmart. We're in the final stretch and I cannot tell you how excited I am to drink my very first cup of coffee after this is all over. And to feel that, mm, feel that surge that I'm gonna need <laughs> with a newborn. I cannot wait. Um, and it's cause it's just getting to the point now where I'm just so tired. It is a, it's an effort to get out of bed every day, but also I just have had this horrible pregnancy insomnia where I wake up in the middle of the night, I can't go back to sleep. And then I don't go back to sleep till like five or six in the morning. And then I'm just so exhausted. I'm getting into the point now where I have this like hip pain and pelvic pain. If I lay on one side too long and then to get to the other side, like to roll over to the other side is like a whole, like I describe it as being like an armadillo on its back <laughs> or like a roly poly that can't turn over. Like that's <laughs> what it's like. It's hilarious. Okay. I'm here at the vet. Oh gosh, they're busy. I feel bad. 
so I just left the vet and guess what everybody Neens has a UTI it's yeah not good I just feel bad for little Neens because UTIs are so uncomfortable the poor girl I will say this Neens is definitely prepping us for a newborn <laughs> right now because she has to go to the bathroom so often with her UTI and well she's been having UTIs since around Christmas time so I don't know what's going on um, but anyways she's been definitely she gets us up every couple hours to go to the bathroom and then um, we're changing out our blankets constantly she's definitely prepping us for this baby because we're not getting a whole lot of sleep um, but that's all right it's worth it so we're cruising now to Walmart here we come Walmart we're gonna see what they got at Walmart but then I also got to get some stuff for my hospital bags and snacks and what else I don't know I have a whole list look at me making a list mom the Virgo would be so proud of me okay Walmart doesn't look that bad I mean it doesn't look ideal but it's not that bad here's a spot right here Where, wait no there's another spot right up here oh good good I found a good spot everybody Mm, these are nice. Soft. All right, just left Walmart and I ran into Aldi really quickly. I didn't take it with me. I just had to grab some jalapenos really quick. Walmart didn't have any fresh jalapenos and I was wanting some fresh jalapenos, so I ran to Aldi really quick and grabbed some. Um, but I didn't take you in there with me just because I just ran in really quick and then I found a couple other things <laughs> Because that's all D for you. We'll do a little haul when we get home. Okay. Okay. Hurry. 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 All right So here's a quick little Walmart haul. I'll show you what I got for snacks first and foremost I got these I thought I'd try these confetti soft baked gluten-free and vegan cookies I don't know they look delicious and they look like a birthday party and so you know, it's going to be Little Gremlin's birthday. I also got these gluten-free fig bars. I love these Nature's Bakery ones. Also got these Bobos, these lemon poppy seed Bobos. I've tried the chocolate chip ones. They're really good. So I figured I'd give these a try. And these are super filling. And then I also had to get, <laughs> you know, I had to get these. These gluten-free mint Oreos. These are so freaking good. And the regular version for good measure. I also got for a little salty something, these blue diamond almonds, these, these spicy dill pickle ones. If you know, you know, they're so good. Also from Walmart, I got some disposable nursing pads. I have reusable ones, but I wanted to pick up some disposable ones just in case, just to have on hand. Um, also got this three pack of white short sleeve onesies. Um, I don't have any of these in zero to three months. So I grabbed some uh, just to wear under swaddles or just by themselves, whatever, they go with everything. And I got this eight piece travel kit where I can put some of my lotions and uh, body washes and stuff like that. I didn't wanna buy many, all the many little things. So I figured I'd just fill these up and reuse them later. So over in the t-shirt section, they had this Michael Myers Halloween. It's really soft. Thought this would be great for going home in or in the hospital or whatever. Just a nice, comfortable, oversized t-shirt. I also got this two pack of wrap front nursing bras just something you can pull over and easily nurse in uh these are so soft and seem super comfortable i also thought they'd be really comfortable to sleep in and i found this really really soft you can't really see what it is but it's a robe everybody uh but this really really soft nice light material it's gonna be perfect for the summertime or you know somebody's coming over and i just need to cover up really quick and i got some diapers y'all i got these always discreet 360 form fit. I don't know if these are any good. I feel like I've read that these ones are good. So I'm going to give them a try. And I've heard some people love the hospital underwear they give you, like the mesh underwear and pads, but some people just love the diapers. So I'm going for the diapers because I know myself and I'm not a big pad ghoul. So I'm going to try some diapers. And from Aldi, I got my jalapenos right here. Got some jalapenos. And I saw this, the gluten-free spinach and cheese raviolis. So I figured, I think I've tried these before, maybe last year, and they're really good if I remember. Um, but I believe they're seasonal, so I snagged these, a couple of these. And I got some tater tots, y'all. 
Got a whole little pack of tater tots. Anyways, that's all we got from Walmart. Oh, look at this hair. Walmart and Aldi. And now I'm tired. I'm gonna have a pickle break, take a nap, give needs. Well, first I gotta give needs her medication. And then uh, my mom's gonna come over and she's gonna help me uh, go through some laundry and take off tags and get things sorted. So I'll see ya when I see ya. Okay, we have mom the Virgo with us. Hi. And me. Oh, and we're going through Here. we're going through clothes. All right. Okay, she's ready for you. This is real cute too. I know. What is this? Those are breast pads. Oh. They're reusable though, so they need to wash them. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you have to wash any of this? I uh, know. Oh, pad? this can go, uh, put the pads in here because this is where you wash them in. Oh, it's a wash bag. So you want me? You want, want me to go ahead and do it? Yeah, undo and just put them in there, and then I'll wash them in there. And you know what? I'm gonna throw the sheets, the crib sheets, in here. What's the part is pulling out the other side of the? I know. The Look at those aren't those cute? Somebody those made are, those. Those are cute. Those are darling. I was trying to find Gram Grandma's little boy, but I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Aww. Oh, sticker. I didn't see a stick. Oh, I missed it. Grandma's sleeping on her job. I know, That's isn't that cute. so cute? Maybe I better get it. Is it the DMV? Hello? Hi, I'm reaching out. <laughs> It did sound, it did like sound creepy. Hi. <laughs> everyone's going to be walking around in the middle of summer with ghosts on, and everyone's going to, what the heck's going on? <laughs> That's exactly the is point. That 12 months? Oh, wait, this is... But yeah, he's going to be spooky baby all year round. Look at that. That's I know, cute. isn't that so cute? Are these all from your spooky family? Yes. Oh my gosh. I know, they spoiled him. Wow. I know. They're so, everyone's so generous. Oh, where's this? I'll go ahead and wash the caps. Thank you for taking care of my daughter and grandson. <laughs> Everybody, spooky family. I appreciate it so much. It seriously. I think this one's okay. Six. Where are we put? Oh, uh, in a sack. Okay, this is three to six. So zero to three, a newborn are going okay. in there. That's real cute. Means is such a good girl. Once I sit down. <laughs> I know. So do you want? Yeah, these? those. Yeah, those okay. go with the um, striped thing. So you just throw them there. Yeah, it looks heavy. Don't you guys look at the picture? Oh my gosh, look at the tissue paper. You gotta say know, that. I know. Wow, you got some blankets. Nice blankets here. I know. Look at that one. It's beautiful. Wow. Look at the cathedral windows and the bats. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Nice blanket, too. Oh, those are burp claws. Oh, but those are perfect. They need to go there. See, I don't even know what things are anymore. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I better not put that there. So you want that wash, and there's the hat. That's cute. Hey everyone, it is another day. We are back in the nursery, and we're gonna put some of these drawer pulls on our drawers. I have these lion head drawer pulls that I got. I originally wanted gold, like really shiny gold, but they weren't really tarnished enough for me. Like I want them to look a little old and kind of tarnished and the gold ones looked really shiny and all gold so you couldn't really see the details of the lion and that's the whole point i really like the lion look i feel like this one is a good in between i feel like it won't clash too bad i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about anyways i'm gonna switch cameras and we're gonna start putting this on and we'll see how this goes all right so we're gonna try to put this together this dresser by the way i don't even know if i showed it in my my other preparing for baby vlog this is gonna look so cute um but i don't even know if i showed which dresser we got this is the hymnus i think is what it's called i don't know how to pronounce it hymnus hymnus <laughs> hymns i don't know what i'm talking about um but that's the one we got from uh oh do not tell me Somebody did mention they had to get a different size screw 
and I'm really hoping that's not, dang it, no, the screw is too long, this is, I don't think I have any other screws, no, no, oh man, okay, I have to get a shorter screw, I don't know how much shorter, but all right, well, we're delayed another day. Just kidding. I'll see you again next time. <laughs> all right, we're back. It's another day. I just got done doing a bunch of yard work with my dad came over in Dallas and my dad and I did a bunch of yard work and it's one less thing we have to worry about. We still have some mulch to spread, but that's it. Everything else, we got all the other weeds pulled, all the whatever plants trimmed back, everything is done. I'm not wearing my skeleton pajama pants. <laughs> And I have all my cozy clothes on because that was a lot of work, but it was just yard work. It was pretty boring. But I finally got the screws that fit these knocker things or cabinet poles, I guess is technically what they're called. Um, but anyways, we got these lion cabinet poles. I'll link them in the description for you because I got them off Amazon and these are so cool. And I put one on already just to make sure, um, just to make sure I got the right screws, which I did. It took me, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had to order two different sets of screws because the first ones I ordered didn't fit. But anyways, this is what I've been waiting for to finish this dresser. These, uh, whatever screws these are for these drawer poles because they uh, were too long, the ones that came with them. So if you get these and the Hemnis, I think is what it's called, this Hemnis dresser or whatever from Ikea, if you get the combo, you have to order, I'll link the screws I had to order down in the description because I ordered the wrong ones twice and then finally we got these. <laughs> I'm excited to get these done finally because I can officially start organizing this dresser and I cannot wait to start organizing the dresser. And I've been waiting to wash all the clothes and sanitize everything until I have the, the drawer pulls on and everything. I think I'm doing a separate video though, like an organize with me video. I need to wipe these down, they're a little dusty. And this has a little chip on it that I need to, usually just take a paint pen and fill up any holes or chips or whatever. Uh, but I don't know, I need to wipe these down. They're a little dusty from being on the floor. Um, but I love these cabinet poles, these lions. They're so cool, I'm so excited. Anyway, so we're putting on these drawer poles and then I can organize. You know I'm so excited to organize. Like little baby things are already my favorite things ever. And then to organize them looks so good. I'm so happy with these lion heads. Uh, I made one right decision. And I love doing stuff like this. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Like, I love, like, there's something so rewarding about putting things together. Like, furniture, adding little things, to, like, to little whatever. I don't know. There's something I love about it. And that's why I prefer to do a lot of this stuff. I mean, Dallas would, of course, do it. But I like it. I don't know, maybe it's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I accomplished something or completed something. Like even today we we're all doing yard work out there. It just feels so good. Like I hate doing yard work. I hate it with a passion. Wait, why isn't this going in? But afterwards, I feel like it's so rewarding. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys something. I wanted to try a bunch of different types of diapers and I wanted to try these Hello Bellows. Let me just open this and show you how cute are these little Halloween diapers. Okay, first of all, they're tiny. They're so cute. And I didn't get a bunch of newborn diapers because I know that they can grow out of them pretty quickly, but I feel like 10 pounds is a good, like he'll be in them for a little bit at least. Um, but look how cute these little Halloween well, let me see if I can't get a better visual. But these little Halloween diapers, 
with the bats and the ghosties and the jack-o'-lanterns and the little cats. I guess they still had some from last year, but they only had them in newborn. I don't know if these are good diapers or if people like them. You can let me know down in the comments. And they only had them available in newborn. Otherwise, you know I would have bought every single size, but you know I'm gonna stock up come Halloween season when they come out with their new ones. All right, that is the final drawer. We are done putting these on. And that is all I'm doing for the day. Stick a fork in me. I am done. Hey everyone, it is another day in 2023 paradise. <laughs> um, I am feeling very waddly today. Lots of waddling happening today after that yard work yesterday. <laughs> so today we're kind of just having more of a chill day, just kind of resting up a little bit. And then here comes the nesting. It just comes out of nowhere. And I'm like, I wanna do something. Let's build the crib. So we're building the crib today. And I'm so excited to get this crib built because we're kind of just waiting to get the dresser done. And I needed to get some clothes out of the way. So I have those in the wash and we're gonna build this crib right now. And we brought the pieces up, I'm excited. So Dallas and I are gonna conquer this thing. We'll see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> it'll be interesting, we're gonna get Neens in here. Normally when I'm working on something, Dallas is usually keeping Neens calm. She's been very, very possessive lately and protective of the baby, of me. But we're both gonna work on this crib because it's gonna require two people. But we're gonna bring <laughs> Neens in here and see how she does. So anyways, we're gonna get Neens. I'm gonna switch cameras and we'll see how this goes. Right inside. Neens, watch it, girl. It, it kind of screws in there. It like holds, it's like a, like a, I don't know how to describe that way. Are we putting artwork or anything above that? Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. I, we do have those like shelves. And uh, I think Houses. it said the printed pouch attachment to the mattress must face up. And I might have oh, you, well, so the, do you see the, these things? This thing, it's probably easier for me to hold it like this. I know Neans, you're in jail. It's all right, mom's gonna snuggle with you afterwards. We'll do all the snuggling. Actually, you can go in the crib if you want. You are just so abused. And that can kind of go. There we go. And then the bottom just needs to come flat. Come flat. So we'll wear it ever so slightly. There you go. Now, that looks so cute. Let me see if I get the blanket out from under it. I'm gonna put this one for now. I'll get it under her bed so we can move the. Okay. Come on. Okay, I got half of it off. Now I just gotta get it out of my. Okay, now all I have to do is inflate this mattress. Well, not inflate it, it just needs to take form or shape or whatever. So it's not an air mattress. It's just a regular mattress, but I gotta take it out of here. Um, and then we are getting closer every single day. We're getting closer to getting this nursery done. And I feel a weight lifted off my shoulders. It feels so good to get closer. So. I like plastic. I just gotta cut this off real quick. Please allow for a minimum of 72 hours in the room temperature setting for the crib and toddler mattress to fully expand to its maximum level of thickness. I feel good about that. Now it's just the little things. All the furniture is built. And now we just, I need, we need to measure and see what size of rug we need. But the only reason I haven't ordered the rug yet is because I was trying to get this crib in here. Hey everyone, it is another day in 2023 paradise. And we are on our way right now to the doctor's office. We have a, an appointment, we just have a regular weekly appointment today we're going to check to see well first we're going to check on the baby and the baby's heart and then we're gonna check to see if I'm dilated at all which makes me nervous but 
we're getting closer. It is that time. We're gonna be checking every week to see how close we are to squeezing this baby gremlin out. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going right now and I'll see you there. left the doctor's office baby's heart sounded good so this is the second ultrasound where the heart had no skipped beats sounds great they think he grew out of it or it resolved itself both things um but yeah so that's good news that we didn't hear a skip this time either and i'm not dilated yet so we're just we're still cooking it's four o'clock in the morning the pregnancy insomnia is getting me and I'm starving. So we're gonna make some toast with peanut butter and jelly on it. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, I am, oh, this hair is, <laughs> throughout this whole vlog I've noticed it's been extra fancy. But I was just finishing up some edits on this video and I didn't know when I was ending it, didn't do a proper send off. So here we are, wanted to do a proper send off and say thank you for hanging out with me and preparing for the baby gremlin. He will be here before we know it. And whew, cool is out of breath. <laughs> just existing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you again for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.